Jesus was, where he came from, and what is that real story, and why has that been so suppressed? And of course we know that so much has been altered, mistranslated, and mythologized, and so on and so forth, and we're left with this hodgepodge of documents that's all been kind of shoehorned together into the Bible. <clears throat> the days on earth when there was more than one ruler, alien ruler, um, and the planet was divided up into quadrants or sections that were ruled. Um, since that time humanity has developed and has become more adult and therefore the, 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 the control has had to advance to keep pace with the development of humanity and to try to second judge it and be ahead of it. So the um, the ruling God, the reptile God, with all the values that that we still have as as, as creatures on this planet, um, was becoming outdated uh, because human spirit was advancing even back then, evolving and changing, and it was necessary to um, bring forth a new icon um, which would capture uh, humans for the next two thousand years. Uh, the difference was that when the, the creation of, of, of the idea or the value of Jesus, it was almost like a, um, a double bluff, it was almost like a, an enemy within, because the, um, the, the code or the program for Jesus uh, wasn't quite the way that the ruling elite had, had required of it, and therefore it began to work against the very system that had created it to control in a in a more um, almost a new, new age in, in relation to the to the old god way. So I see both both as a construction uh, to control, but the second program was hijacked by exterior forces uh, so that it wasn't as effective, and in fact it was more beneficial to humans. Um, Interestingly enough, I was told very clearly that the, the Roman Empire was created purely and simply to ensure that Christianity got throughout the whole globe. And once Christianity was seeded in every country, then the Roman Empire could collapse and fall. Um, so that's my take on it, Bill. I don't know if that, that's of any help. Very interesting what you say about the Roman Empire. When you're talking about the seeding of Christianity, presumably you're talking about the seeding of the, 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 the altered, corrupted form. Yes, yes, absolutely. To do with Jesus' it's real message, right? Correct, yeah. What do you know about the role of Mary Magdalene in relation to the Jesus story? <laughs> um, Mary Magdalene. Um, well, I can only tell you what I've been told, Bill, and that may not match with what, what, what you, 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 you hear or think. <clears throat> Um, Mary Magdalene was uh, chosen to create a hybridised child, and that's that's all I know about her. This is a child that's fathered by Jesus. All I can tell you is what I've said. That's all I know. That it was, the whole object of that was to create a hybridised child. Okay. Do you know anything about the purpose or the function of that? <laughs> Clock. <laughs> we'll just let that clock chime. <coughs> if you if you create a, a creature that is so in tune with the earth, it can through its consciousness alter the earth. And I don't mean the physical earth. If you create um a ma I just call it a mast, call it like a radio mast, for want of a better word, and it, it can hold and disseminate the entire consciousness or direct the consciousness of, of the human population. If you can corrupt that, you can direct um, that energy to take the human race away from its its pure, its proper course. But in order to do that, you have to have something that is made of that material, that is made of that consciousness and is accepted by that consciousness. And time and time again, what's happened is that individuals have been used to attempt to uh, 
take lock, stock and barrel, take the whole uh, agenda off um, to, to something that's rather negative. But you have to have it, it has to be created of the material to be part of the material. Um, and so often the, the battles that are fought is on how that, um, that creature lives its life, what its teachings are, what its values are, um, and to maintain its integrity. And, and in many cases, these creatures have to have a tremendous amount of off-world uh, genetic material. I don't just use the word DNA, genetic material, because they have to um, be able to survive in the third reality, fourth dimension, and the fourth dimension for a period of time. Um, and their, their energetic soul, their energetic signature is vibrating, not necessarily at a faster rate, but it is resonating at a different rate from the body. So often uh, these creatures, their parents um, will always, they'll never know who the parents are, or there'll always be some strange story about the parents. Uh, and that is what I understand, and that's about all I could really tell you, Bill. Okay. That sort of leads to what's going to be my last question. And that is that several times you've used the word ascension. Mm -hmm. And my own stance about that word is it's a really dangerous word to employ because it means so many different things to different people and it's been so muddied and, and abused and co-opted into a lot of what you call the New Age nonsense. Mm -hmm. But clearly when you use the word ascension, the ascension of humanity or whatever, there's something very specific that you're talking about. And I wonder if you could define it and clarify it to remove any possible misunderstanding or misidentification of the word yeah I, I tend to use words I suppose that I expect people to understand and to um, grasp um, it's like I use the word ET because I know people understand it although it's not actually technically correct for all the groups um, in a way it's ascension in the sense that it's advancement and I think that's as far as I would use the term. Um, humanity's got as far as it can get now. It has to make a choice. That choice should be its own choice. And when, when we talk about, when I talk about humans, I don't just talk about earth humans. I talk about the human races that are far more human than earth humans are. And the future to come, if it's to work out properly, uh, in my estimation, will be, because uh, it's all about souls, it's not about the bodies, it's about earth human souls existing on a planet where other human bodied creatures have a whole range of souls, but predominantly humanoid. So therefore, I mentioned earlier, the Lyran group the Palladian group, the Syrian group, um, which would be able to come in on uh, the advancement of humans and the mantid or mantis group piggybacking because they are stuck in a cul-de-sac. They wish to evolve. And so I'm not talking about people running into the street waving their hands in the air shouting hallelujah um, I have ascended I'm referring to uh, humans values changing humans becoming aware of how they've been lied to and tricked and the very people that they put their trust and their faith in have for centuries um, been corrupting them and lying to them and instead of falling apart, these group of humans have got to basically rewrite their constitution, not just the constitution of government, but their constitution of themselves, who they are, how they got here, and what the hell they're gonna do now, and where they're going to go. And my great worry is in that crucial vacuum that will occur when the old guard are thrown out, somebody else of a negative force may attempt to grab that opportunity and present themselves as a savior. 
Uh, and that's why it's very important that, that humanity looks to itself and not to an outside force. And I honestly see uh, a positive time ahead where, uh, and this is what where people who are genuinely contactees or abductees talk about uh, sharing um, with other races. In other words, that is when we will come into contact with, in an open way, other creatures, when individual humans are in a position to appreciate their own role and their own position within the, the greater makeup. So for me, ascension is every individual human having the opportunity to make the choice and a majority of uh, humans making that choice grow off.